Have you ever seen uh I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. A oh, five pound raccoon in a four pound trap. <laughs> I don't understand how in the world this coon had both traps set out, and this is the smallest of the two. And it passed up the biggest one and went for the smallest one and got trapped in it. Oh well. My supper coming up in the next few days. I have yet to eat one, you know. I got a friend that knows how to clean them up and it's gonna teach me. And uh I've caught a few over the years in these traps right around here. This is have to, this has to be the biggest one, and uh, I think I'm gonna try in a slow cooker with some taters and onions. So I turned a fifty cent thing of uh, uh, half a thing of uh, sardines into a probably a two or three day meal right here for me. Oh well. I'm gonna leave it caged up for a day or two to make sure it don't have rabies. I guess that's how you do it. I don't know. I know people go out and shoot them so they can't tell. But uh, we're gonna make sure and from what folks tell me, just make sure you get the the musk glands out. I believe there's four or five in a, each coon. And then we're gonna I'm gonna try to tan the hide. Be my first time on that also. And uh I don't think I'm gonna make a hat. I think I'm just gonna keep the hide and uh kinda make it to where I can mount it either on the wall or somewhere in my tiny cabin whenever I get that built. And I haven't forgot about it. It's just been on the back burner. My dad's having some problems right now and trying to get him better. And uh, but we're still living the lifestyle. Been doing a lot of scrapping here lately. Trying to sell some woodworking here and there. I've just been not around the YouTube lately, other than watching. I have been watching. Uh, haven't commented on a lot, but I try to now and then. But we'll get back to y'all later. If any of y'all have ever eaten coon, let me know. Let me know how y'all do it. Talk to y'all later.